name is Salvador Lopez. I'm a visual artist. I've been uh, working as a professional artist for a number of years. I had formal training, but overall I'm self-taught outside of collegiate or academia uh, study. My first experience uh, in the arts were my parents. Uh, there were programs on PBS and they would take us, my sister and I, to the Wax Museum and they would always buy us art supplies so we would watch these programs or when we were out uh, I was constantly drawing and so my parents at the time when they were together they were instrumental guides in who I am today I grew up in uh, Long Beach, California for a short period of time I was heavily influenced by anime and back then it was just uh, cartoons on the television but I uh, had friends and there was a lot of uh, programs that were animated. My father collected uh, comic books and he was heavily into uh, foreign films, uh, Kiro Kurosawa. That's possibly why my images are somewhat uh, appear to be storyboarded. It's, it's just something that's remained in the subconscious. And so in my work today I have a larger image and then a smaller image that somewhat acts as a po postcard or vice versa in what's going on um, with uh, the figures or whatever uh, situation I'm trying to express at, the, at that particular moment. Uh, even though that I paint, I feel that my strongest uh, suit is, is drawing. Uh, painting, I feel that it's a struggle, even though that uh, some people have said that my uh, paintings look photoreal, I, I still feel that uh, there's a lot of error there. Um, but it was something that I felt that I needed to pursue even though that I did not receive uh, the luxury of going to uh, receive higher education. Well, the first time that I printed it was it was actually um, more hands-on. I was doing a lot more drawing and this time I made it a lot more graphic. Um, the advantage was that I had uh, Brian Johnson uh, to guide me even though that he did not I uh, work on the Serie, the, uh, Serie A20, but uh, he's been a really good friend of mine, so I just called him and he just told me how to think very graphic and less painterly or, 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 or how to draw it. It's more of uh, almost like, a, I guess you could say like a comic book or like an advertisement where it's just very simple. And even though that my my design or my layout for this particular print is still very involved. I I still feel that I made it more graphic. Uh, uh, my my drawings and paintings are very time consuming and meticulous. So this time I just felt that things were going a lot more smoothly than than last time. Last time I, I was doing layers upon layers of hatching and cross hatching. These you know the, on the mylar. So both experiences were, were very involved and, and, and a lot of fun, but this time I have felt that things went along faster than, than the last time. You know? And it's just funny to think that it's 10 years, but it is. Well, when I'm approaching a painting, I, you, you have the luxury of uh, painting over your mistakes a uh, numerous amount of times and doing a lit though if you're doing it for someone else, which is for the series, then your time is pretty much crunched within a week. So you have to have all your color separations and you have to know how everything's going to be laid out. And even though that this time was faster, it was, it was still a little difficult for me to think um, in color in a very simplistic way. Yeah, it wasn't until last year um, at Arts Magnet uh, I went to go visit a friend of mine who's an instructor there and the printer there or the instructor who does the printmaking at the printmaking department she had asked me to donate my time and do a print for uh, children in, in Tibet so I did a small litho cut of a snow leopard and all you had to do was uh, write the name of the particular animal or subject for the kids in, in the orphanage to learn from. 
So my mine was the snow leopard, and then you have the word in English and the word in Tibet, and it's a it was a four by six um, litho, and I I just felt you know that I would like to actually do some more lithographs and uh, and and etchings and and linoleum cuts, and so coming to do the the Seri project, it just it just all fell into place. So I would definitely like to do some more. Thank you.